Accessing research node. User ID. The revised formula works perfectly. It passes through clothing and is readily absorbed through the skin and eyes. Gas masks are useless. The results are horrifying. Combined with the cloudburst, the potential is world-changing and lucrative. Yet, Dr. Crane remains uninterested in commercial opportunities. He intends to squander our work, my work, on a vendetta. It's time to dissolve our partnership. I should leave Gotham before his return. Accessing research notes. User ID. Stag. Simon. September. Third. When Dr. Crane approached me, I thought the man had finally realized the value of his chemical expertise. But no. He's still scarecrow to the bone. The man invents a formula that could cure depression, turn an entire army upon itself, and he uses it to frighten people. Fine, Dr. Crane. I'll keep working on your cloudburst, but I'll keep working on your toxin as well. I'll show him there's money to be made here, one way or another. Accessing research notes. User ID. Stag. Simon. September. 20th. <laughs> Make it stop! Human testing has not been the breakthrough I hoped for. I want to go home. I want to go I want to go home. The cloudburst works perfectly, though I've temporarily obscured that fact from Dr. Crane. I must perfect his formula myself first. Patient number four, two weeks after exposure. How are we today, Daniel? <laughs> Daniel, would you like to go home? <laughs> My old terror? Permanent damage? Uh, not good enough. Accessing research nerve. User ID. Sky. Silence. October. 14. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> In fact, we've had to restrain the patient, haven't we, Mr. Huxley? I'll kill you! I'll kill you all! <laughs> fear toxin may be dangerous for you and your loved ones. Prolonged exposure to fear toxin may induce episodes of extreme psychological trauma. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bats, they just keep making this stuff sound better and better. <laughs>